Hey guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at the Rainbowed Trunks and Goten unit here. Uh, full level 10 links. Um, I finally was able to get them done. I was stuck on prepare for battle for like three days or four days, something like that. So finally able to finish up Trunks and Goten here. Have some pretty um, premium skill orbs on them as well. Level 5 attack for bronze, level 4 crit for silver. And then the gold is the um, super battle world reward of 3 crit and then 300 attack. So. In total, their attack is at 18,000, which is ridiculous for a TUR. That's a Dokkan Fest, not easy AD unit. Um, I already talked about their kit in the 55% video, so if you want to uh, know my thoughts on their kit, you can go take a look at that video there. But um, the main reason why I decided to go ahead and give them the rainbow was their leader skill. Their leader skill, um, the Kamehameha plus Gifted Warrior category as a you know sort of dual category leader skill, allows them to be a leader for every single Dokkan Fest LR in the game. And um, just the the amount of characters that you can actually put on this team with the with the combination of those two uh, categories is crazy. Like the 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 breadth of the category is crazy, of the leader skill I should say actually. So uh, this is what we're going to be taking a look at today. Uh, same teams that we looked at uh, in the 55% video, but now they're rainbowed, so we're going to be able to compare directly. You know how they performed at 55% versus rainbow. Uh, this is their own team, the uh, sort of Kamehameha and Gifted Warrior team. So. Uh, gonna have them on rotation with the uh, AGL Goten, and then we'll have the friend on rotation with the physical trunks. And then we'll have Krillin floating around, we'll have the Int Vegeta floating around for the rainbow orb creation, and then we'll have the STR Gotenks, the bottom right, floating around for the support. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this team into Super Battle Road. By the way, I will still be doing a separate video on Extreme Super Battle Road that will probably release either in like a day or two from when this video goes live, so. Um, I think that's an, an important enough video to highlight um, just a separate showcase altogether. So that's what we're going to be doing there. Second team is the hybrid Saiyan slash savior team with uh, them alongside the Int uh, Gotenks there. Uh, Int Gotenks is a very, very good linking partner for them. I believe they do share six links, so he's technically their best linking partner. But I think at the end of the day, this guy is just a better unit. Uh, the Int Gotenks is not bad, but um, I want to get different scenarios here, so I don't want to just have this AGL Goten linked up alongside them on every single team that he's on. I want to see how they're going to perform as well with the Int Goten there uh, as well. So this is what we're going to be doing for the Hybrid Saiyan slash Savior team. Then we have the Super Saiyan team here. Uh, not really anything super crazy going on here. Just again, we have the uh, AGL Goten there. Uh, we have a bunch of AGL orb creation going on from the two leaders. The, Nam the uh, not Nam Goku, the uh, Spear Farmers of Goku's floating around. And of course we have... Um, the Goku and Vegeta on the other rotation, and uh, just some crazy supports coming from the High School Gohan and the Trunks from the Broly movie. And uh, that's it. This, uh, those are the three teams we're going to be looking at here. So uh, we're going to go ahead and jump into Super Battle first. We're going to take this team in, see how well it does, and uh, I imagine we're just going to completely <laughs> obliterate it here. All right, so here we go. About to jump into the Super Class stage of SBR here. Again, it's not extreme SBR, but um, we're, we're going to be taking a look at the, them on both stages. But in this video, it's going to be regular SBR. The friend is Rainbow as well, but he doesn't have as good skill orbs as mine, and he doesn't have full link level 10. I mean, he's only missing two links, so um, I get uh, the struggle with getting all the links to 10. I mean, having one at 7 and everything else, like 8 and 10, is pretty, pretty rough, but... So we're going to try and get my Goten and Trunks linked up alongside the AGL Goten, so we'll see if we can get that situated uh, early. But we'll go ahead and jump in here, see what kind of rotations we're looking at, and hopefully things don't end up being too difficult to set up here. Uh, hopefully that's mine in the first rotation, so we can just float them off right away. It's not. Okay, this is going to be rough. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually float off them right away. Um, I'm going to have mine float on rotation in two turns from now, and I'm going to float off the AGL Goten on the other rotation so we can get everything set up correctly here. I'm going to go aim for Frieza. The problem is we can't really get that many orbs. But uh, we will try... Actually, do I want to aim for Frieza? I'm actually probably going to aim for you. We'll aim for Toguma here. We'll grab these. And then with Goten, Gotenks in the middle, we'll aim for Frieza to try and get the stun. Hopefully we won't get super in the middle there. That's really not, not, not going to be good if we do. Defense is 92k. Keep in mind they are getting an additional 150% attack and defense on the super attack so they're gonna be over 200k defense once they super here so we'll target frieza for the goten and trunks and have them go to town with the unit super attack as well that should be pretty good vegeta should be able to tank relatively fine in the first slot 3.3 million from him a very low number but we only got two orbs because the orbs were not, just not very good here so we'll get rid of tagama right away should be able to defend quite nicely here okay that's perfect so he's not gonna be able to super in the middle slot which means that we are good to go here Come on, Gotenks, you want to get a super for us? First on, nice, we actually did get one. 6.58. 
That's pretty good. <laughs> Turn one there. Uh, we do have some support, keep in mind, from the Gotenks. He's giving, I believe, 40%. Um, then we're going to rotate Goten off there. Um, I'm actually going to put Krillin in the front so that we can have these guys linked up there. We actually could finish this this fight here, which I actually think is pretty likely. Defense is looking pretty decent there. We're going to aim for you. And then with Goten, we'll aim for Shisami, and that should be, the honestly, the end of this fight here. We'll see if we get stupid in the front at all. Okay, no, we're good. Two million from Krillin, that's pretty good. Keep in mind that with a Goten, I think it's with a Goten or Trunks unit, he's getting... He's, or he's giving, what, 60% attack and defense to the rotation? Like, absolutely ridiculous. So Shisami's dead, he actually killed him himself. And then five million from this Trunks, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna move on, <laughs> we're gonna move on here. Uh, we have my Trunks and Goten here on the first sl uh, the first slot here on this rotation, and we're going to be able to rotate Goten off uh, in two turns from now. So, Going up against the Universe 6 squad, uh, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put you in the middle. So the links we have active, we have Innocent, Super Saiyan Project, Forever Battle, and Fierce Battle. So they do share four links with the Vegeta, and then they share, I think, it's, it's uh, what is it, Innocence? Yeah, they share the Innocence with this Goten at the end. Defensively, they're at 72k, which tells me that they don't have the same amount of uh, their passive active as they did on the previous turn. So, I... Who's attacking in the middle? So, I'm actually going to aim for Megetta. If we can get Megetta out of here, we're not going to have to worry about the Goten and Trunks in the middle eating a ton of damage from Megetta. And then, I guess, we'll try and just destroy Hit. We'll get Hit out of here. And then at the end, we'll focus on hit again with this Gotenks in case he's still alive. We can go for the stun or potentially just kill him. So we'll see what happens here. I think Vegeta should be decent in the front slot. They're able to tank whatever they throw at him. We got him a decent amount of orbs. I think we got him six. Yeah, almost a five minute attacks that. We'll see what number we hit with Goten and Trunks. I wouldn't be surprised if it was lower in the previous turn. Again, I don't think their entire pass. Oh, we get a live. Yeah, six million. I mean, it's still really good, right? <laughs> six million is not bad by any means. Um, I expect hit to just be instantly incinerated by this. Yeah, he's dead. Because we're getting super, how much does this do? That's really not bad at all. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> Nothing to worry about here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and attack Kamba. Don't get the stun. Oh, we get an additional. This good stun, though. Let's see. No. Is he dead? No, he's alive by a little bit. Um, so I'm going to put uh, Trunks there. I'm going to have this rotation. I'm actually going to put him in the front. We should be able to kill Megiddo with this Trunks here. Um, so we have 6 out of 7 links active here. Defense is 106k, so again, they're going to be over 250k defense once they super. Um, so, looking pretty decent. So we're going to go ahead and do this. And then, I guess we will focus on you. We'll take you, uh, Bobotamo out here. I guess we'll just grab these, whatever. Make some space in the board here, and then Krillin. We'll have you just take out Kaba, and what we'll do is we'll bring down these physical orbs that we can heal next turn. Trunks is at 4.5, pretty good, <laughs> with the Krillin support. And then these guys are at 8.8! <laughs> Not even mine. Uh, keep in mind, mine has like 700 or 800 more attack than this one does. Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> and then Krillin's at 2.6 there, so Kaba's dead. And at this point, we finally have the rotations I wanted here. Um, we're going to keep... Oh, we can actually get their active skill. I don't even think we need to pop it, though. So, 83k defense. We'll go ahead. Actually, we put them in the middle. They're going to get a little bit of extra attack because of Fierce Battle. What if we just did this? I'm going to see what kind of attacks that we're getting here. I'm not going to support the Goten. We'll do this. This is with only the support from this Goten. So, we only, I believe, have 18% of support on this turn. Which is not that much. So with only 18% support, what kind of numbers are we going to be hitting here? Oh, basically 8 million. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, we're going to have a monstrous turn, by the way, in two turns from now. Because we're going to have this same rotation, but instead of the Invegeta, we're going to have the Krillin giving 60% support. So they're going to be at like a 10 million attack set or something like that. Um, Alright, so we're going up against Rose and Zamasu here. Um, defensively... Not spectacular, because if Rosé super... I'm actually going to use a uh, Princess Snake here. 
the, the one issue with this team is that in the first slot, they could get destroyed. Like this Trunks and Goten is obviously going to be much more powerful after uh, they super attack defensively. And it looks like the orbs are also pretty unlucky, so we can't even super with this Trunks. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just focus on Zamasu here. We... I'm going to grab these. That's going to drop the blues. Then we can do this. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to super with the Gotenks at the end. That sucks. If Gotenks get supered at the end by Rosé, we could be in trouble. Um, Alright, well, uh, I'm going to open up the middle slot so we can get those physical orbs for next turn anyway. So we'll do that. See what happens. This is not a very good turn. We just kind of lucky with the orb placements. Alright, at least he's supering in the front and not go tanks at the end. And that's fine. That damage is not nothing to worry about. I mean, we have the Princess Snake active, so that's why we're taking little, such, uh, little, such little damage. But uh, yeah, 6.2 for them. Uh, honestly, they, they could get pretty close to killing this Zamasu here. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, he's dead. Go tanks, kill him. Goodbye. Okay, so uh, here is the big monster rotation. I'm gonna put Krill in the front. With this rotation, we have six out of seven links active. Um, we have 87k defense. I don't think we have both great chances proc'd here, actually. So I think this could even go higher than what we're about to see, but we'll go ahead and grab these two. We'll give these to you. And go 10, we'll give you these. Yeah, there's there's no way we have their full passive active. There's no way. Krillin is at 2.45, pretty good. He's not fully link level, by the way, this Krillin. He's like 80% of the way done. And then go 10 and Trunks are at 717. Yeah, they might not, honestly, they might not have even gotten a single great chance active here. Wow, that's disappointing. Additional for 2.2 million, pretty good. <laughs> and we should be able to finish this off with the Goten at the end, hitting for 5.1. <laughs> so pretty good rotation. I'm actually going to jump in again. Um, I want to see if we can get the rotation with uh, them alongside Krillin and the Goten so that we can have a better indication of what their max potential can be. All right, so here we are, same exact rotation here. I want to see what does their defense look like here. 106k, so this is definitely a better... Um, a better indication of what their max is going to be. I'm not sure if this is with 100% of their passive active, maybe only one of the great chances is active, but we'll just take a look anyway and see what their attacks that's going to look like here. Um, I'm actually... Uh, I want to put Krill in the front, probably not. I'm probably going to put him in there. Just to see uh, the attacks that for sure, I'm going to use a Whis to make sure that we don't die here. Um, and then we'll, I guess we'll just attack random enemies, it doesn't really matter what we do here. With you, we'll attack hit, I guess. I mean, <laughs> to see just a massive damage number pop up on our screen, and then we'll do this. It's fine. All right, so we'll see what we're going to do, or what they're going to do here. I'm uh, looking forward to this. How much damage are they going to hit for? Nine million? Can we see nine? Keep in mind, this is without their active skill buff as well, so they haven't stacked up any dodges at all. And they're at 9.39. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty good. Turn one. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at them on the uh, Savior slash Hybrid Saiyan team. We're going to be taking them into a longer event here so they can actually build up their entire active skill, um, you know, dodging and stuff like that. Well, technically it's their passive, but you, you get the dodges from their active skill. So we're going to be able to see them fully built up. Hopefully we'll be able to get a rotation with their actual full passive. Both great chances. They're on super attack, 150% attack and defense buff, plus the additional attack and defense they're going to be able to get from dodging. So that's the goal here. Again, we're going to have them linked up alongside the Int Goten. And um, we'll see what kind of rotations we get here as we head in. And um, that's pretty bad. <laughs> so uh, we will cut here and we'll be back with the rotation set up correctly. All right, so here we go. Finally have uh, the rotation set up the way we want them to be. The only problem is he's not really attacking too many times in the front. I feel like we're going to instantly destroy him once we super. So I'm not going to pop the active skill just yet. 
I would like to get like three attacks in the front here if possible before we pop it, but 112,000 defense uh, with the one support from the trunks there is pretty good. Um, I mean, they're going to be over, what, um, 270k defense or something like that? They're going to be somewhere around there after the super attack, so... We'll see what kind of numbers they put up here. Again, only one support here. They do, keep in mind, again, share six links with this Goten, so very, very good partners here. But uh, this is a dead pickle, 100%. Alright, uh, okay, we're getting attacked. How many times is that? Twice in the front and then one after. Okay, so that's good. We're gonna put him there. We're gonna use the active skill and uh, we'll start building up uh, the dodge portion of their passive here. Okay, so. We're going to start building up their dodge portion of their passive. We're going to just go ahead and do this. I, I just really hope they don't instantly kill the Strongs. Please don't. <laughs> I want to get that extra dodge in that second uh, slot there. All right. We're, we're going to be hitting pretty hard here, by the way. What kind of numbers are we looking at? So there's one dodge. There's dodge number two. No use trying to super me there, Trunks. And what are we at? We're at 8.39. Okay. This is probably a dead Trunks. <laughs> Not really much we can do to avoid this. Oh, no, never mind. Okay. Yeah, she... Okay. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> All right, so there's three dodges. So we in total, we need five dodges to get their full uh, attack and defense boost from their passive. So we only need two more. Hopefully, we can get that within the next few turns here. And then we can uh, try and get their max potential attacks that here. All right, how many attacks are in the front here? We have two. Okay. So hopefully, at least one of these gets dodged. Put them in the front, 121k. We have no support here, so definitely building up that attack and defense from the dodging, uh, just, you know, steadily over time here. We'll go with this, and then Gohan, give you that. All right, can we get at least one dodge? No. 7.56, okay. Come on, dodge this attack next. Oh, God. No dodge, all right, that sucks. But uh, we definitely did a lot of damage to him there. <laughs> oh, oh. He's dodging, but I can't dodge. That's, 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 that's great. <laughs> Alright, let's get some dodges going here. How many times are we getting attacked in the front? Three? Okay. So we have the support we're looking for. Um, 115k defense. I guess we'll just, again, try and build the dodging here. Come on, can we get at least one? I would prefer to get two so we can have the full thing built up. Come on, let's see. Let, let's see. Let's see. Come on, dodge this. Dodge this. Damn it. That's a lot of damage. 7.19. Come on, get one dodge for me here. Okay, additional for 7.8. What is that, like a 15 million attack stat in this turn? That's pretty good. Wow, they just won't dodge at all. That's rough. Uh, sometimes this happens, though. Um, it's not like their dodge chance is ridiculously high. It's what, like 21% or something like that? So it's not It's not going to be like you're not going to get dodges like every second. OK, here's pretty much our final chance to get this uh, these dodges here. We're getting attacked. What is that, twice in the front? All right, whatever. We'll put them in the front here. Only 79k defense. That tells me that probably neither great chance is active here. That's fine. Um, just show me the dodges, man. Just, I want to get this passive fully maxed out. Uh, less than 5 million. Yeah, look at the difference there. Um, the great chances from their passive really do play a massive part in how much damage they're doing. Come on. You know what to do. Damn it. Oh, uh, there's one. Okay, so... We got four dodges out of five in this entire event. Um, all right, probably gonna cut here um, and see if we can recreate the scenario that I wanted to show off here. 
All right, so I decided to jump into the Legendary Goku event to do this because it's probably just going to be easier. There's more attacks. There's more stages here. There's just It's just way easier to drag the fight on longer in this event. And here we are. Um, uh, we're getting attacked an awful lot in the front there. So the current situation is the Trunks and Goten have dodged four times. So as long as they dodge once, <laughs> that's like 15 trillion attacks in the front there. As long as they dodge once, they will have their full... Um, passive active here. They have a 28% chance to dodge. Once they dodge one more time, that will go up to 30%. That's the cap on the dodge they can get from their passive, but um, this is the rotation I wanted to show off. We have the trunks at the end giving, I believe, 40% support to hybrid Saiyans. They're at 124k defense. It's tough to say if that is their full um, passive in terms of both the great chances being active or not, but I'm going to just assume that based off of that high defensive number that we have their full you know their full passive active here assuming we get one more dodge here so here we go i'm actually going to use a double icarus just to make sure we don't die um but once we super keep in mind they are getting 150k defense on super um <laughs> if they dodge assuming this defense goes up to like 100 and like 30k plus 130k let's say 130k keep in mind they're getting 150 percent extra defense on top of that so it will be 130 plus 130 that's 260 it's 100 percent and then another 65k on top of that. That's what is that? 325k defense they'd have. They'd have when they super pretty much. That's that's pretty good. <laughs> 325k super. Or the 325k defense is pretty good. So we will go ahead and just grab this. Hopefully they just do decide to dodge that one time that we need them to, and that we can move on from there. Come on. Just need one dodge. Okay. 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 All right. Cool. They didn't dodge a single time. All right. So I managed to get the final dodge that we needed. They are at 133k defense. We have the rotation set up the way we need it to be with the trunks floating around. Uh, them linked up with Goten. Again, six out of seven links here. Uh, I'm ready. I'm ready to see this attack stat. I'm hoping it's going to be over 8 million, potentially. We will see. But, um, here we go. This is with their full passive, I assume. 7.7. .7. Additional? No, okay. Yeah, so that just tells you how ridiculously powerful the uh, Tech Krillin support is. Like, we saw them hit, what is it, like 9.3 million turn 1 with that rotation that we had it was like with tech krillin and the uh, agl goten i mean that like their team i mean that, that just tells you how powerful their own team is like the trunks and goten setup um on their own like uh gifted warrior slash coming off setup it's just for them specifically like when you have a team built around them it just works so much better uh, this is pretty much their maximum so uh yeah they definitely work way better on their own team but we'll move on to a dokkan event we'll take them on the air with the super saiyan team and we'll wrap the video up there all right, so now we're going to jump into their own Dokkan event with the Super Saiyan team. Keep in mind, as we jump in, this is a 130% lead, so they're not going to look as impressive as they did on the other teams we looked at here, but maybe we can see some good numbers out of them regardless. So we'll go ahead and make our way to the actual fight here, grabbing some capsules and stuff along the way. Uh, okay, so we'll do this, and then we'll just enter the fight here. Uh, they are going to start out next to the Goten, which is perfect. So here they are, turn one, 83k defense. Uh, I'll have them just be in the front, just so that we can have them super right away. We'll do this, go 10, we'll do that, and then Goku and Vegeta. Probably not going to be able to super, the go 10's probably just going to clean up. But, um, yeah, to start things off, we got a 5.3 million. So even though this is a 130% lead team, 5.3 million turn one, that's pretty damn good. <laughs> All right, so we'll get, uh, get the, oh, no, okay, additional for 5.8, so over 10 million attacks that here, turn one with the additional. Pretty powerful here. So they instantly incinerate them. Cool. This rotation, we have two of the Goku. I'm actually going to rotate off the friend because mine is better. Let's do this. And we should be good to go here. Unless Trunks, Trunks maybe could live, I guess. 4.2. I mean, you can take a look at the difference here, right? 4.2 million. For this guy, he has his full Super Saiyan setup here. He got a decent amount of orbs. Compare that to Trunks and Goten that just did 5.8 million. <laughs> I mean, 
They're out damaging the spear bones from Goku. He's still a really, really powerful unit. This guy's oh, they're not even not even hitting five million. So that's just a direct comparison and tells you all you need to know about how powerful that Trunks and Goten is, like for real. All right, so this is a good spot. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and pop this right away as well. Um, 79k defense. So they have less of their passive active here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Okay, so we're gonna be able to get one dodge here. It's better than nothing, I guess. So we'll go ahead and grab that. We'll do this. And uh, we'll probably see a pretty decent attack stat here. Is it gonna be over 5 again? Yeah, 5.1. Oh, he was stunned. I'm stupid. I shouldn't use that active skill. <laughs> Whatever. I didn't even see you stunned. Okay, so we'll kill him. And uh, is this this is not the last stage, is it? Okay, I honestly can't remember. Uh, we'll do this, and this, and then we're should be good to go here. What is the Goku and Vegeta at? They're at four million. So yeah. I mean, it's like, it's crazy how much damage the Trunks and Goten does, especially when you have a direct measuring stick to compare them to. I mean, this guy's at 6.3, that's pretty crazy. I gave him a ton of orbs, though, so. 6.3 is pretty damn good. Um, but just, it's so much easier to get the, the numbers that we were seeing with the other Trunks and Goten, because they're just a TUR, they don't need to get orbs, stuff like that. I'm actually going to put them in the middle so that we can get Fierce Battle. Um, so we'll have everything active here except for prodigies. So this Goku, I'll give you eight orbs. We'll attack you. And then I'll give you guys these. Definitely a lower amount of their passive active. Only 64k defense there. So this, this is a situation where I think the Spirit Bombs or Goku probably will end up out damaging them. 4.7. They probably won't hit 4.7 if I have to guess. They're, they'll probably be hovering around like 4.2-ish. We'll see. Right, let's see what they hit here. 4.64. Okay, so they're pretty much exactly the same number that Go that Goku was just at, which is pretty impressive. So they're gone. Krillin's left. We'll finish off Krillin here if they crit. If this Goten crits. Okay, so there we go. Uh, pretty simple, pretty easy. Oh, Trunks got a link. And um, there we go. Let me know down below what you guys think about this Trunks and Goten at rainbow level. I mean, nine point. The, the, the thing that impressed me the most was a 9.3 million. We saw turn one from them in Super Battle Road. That's, <laughs> like, that's crazy. But, like I said earlier, we're going to be doing another... Um, I'm going to be doing another showcase of this unit, specifically in Extreme Super Battle Road. So I think we might even take the same team in, just to compare. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you all in the next one.